boosted lifestyle. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe. What up my favorite Canadian friends? That's it, I made all you guys Canadians now. Just like that, boom, Canadians. Today I have two options. I can one, pull the engine out and start trying to get the wiring stuff fixed because this engine was on fire at one point. All the wiring is like burnt to crisp so we have to change all that stuff. Two, start working on our fenders and building a spot to sit. I did order myself a 90 degree gearbox so I can put the steering in afterwards the way I want to. One, one of the two, we gotta pick one of the two to do because I'm only one dude. Look at this oval window beetle. I guess I could also be working on the wife's car, twin turbo LS Fox body. Word. I gotta figure out how to make this turn on. You need to figure out? Yeah. Okay. Okay, why don't you bicycle with it? I don't know. Will it even bicycle? I found the choke! Welcome to my channel, subscribe. All right, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know anything about uh, lawnmower engines, I guess, but uh, all the wiring is burnt here. And I got a new one to replace it, I think. I bought it off like eBay or Amazon or something, so it might not be. Ooh. Yeah, this piece. So that's gotta go in there somehow. And uh, like I said, I, I know nothing about these. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. I've hired Dan to help me, and uh, Dan doesn't know anything about him either, so. No, not a thing. So, we're looking at this, and it's gonna be like, uh, why, like, come out of this way? We could just tip the whole thing up and then get at it from the top way down. Easy. <laughs> Perfect. On there real fast, see? I'm going to. Oh, that's not even... No. This is the best workbench you've ever had. I know. The tools go here, motor stuff here. Right. Look at this thing, this little plastic so piece. Convenient. You can tell it was on fire. <laughs> Worst we can do is f*** it up, and it's already f***ed up, so... Alright, lock it's on the other side. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Ooh. Okay, that's not what I was looking for That's not... It. Oh, is wait. It, is it in this Maybe side? <laughs> It probably goes inside this piece right here. Yeah, probably. Hey, that, that looks familiar. familiar. <laughs> that looks familiar. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Look at that, we found the thing. The thing and the stuff with the wires that are all burnt and stuff. It's a little baby thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, the gasket comes off too. So I'm guessing this piece goes inside this piece and it makes electrical things. Magnet. Mm. Magnet and mm. magnets things. and electromagnets. Stuff. And current and amperages. Mm. Okay, while you do that, I'm gonna go look on my Amazon machine and find some gaskets. Yeah. Because I went and bought them. Once. September 24th, right there. Seven bucks. The good kind. I'm ordering it. That's when we're at the track. Bye now. So, where's the one that we gotta replace it with? It's under my feet. Don't step on it. I know. I feel like this would be a really easy engine to like rebuild. I feel like most four-wheeler engines Probably, are yeah. supposed to be. But like to put a forged piston and rod in it maybe? I feel like I'm probably not supposed to touch any of that, so I'm a little worried about what I'm about to do. Here there. To your wiring. Don't tell me how to f up my wiring. I'll do it my, my, by myself. I'll do it on my own. Head shiny. Yeah, it is. Obviously we can't do anything with this until the gaskets show up. The gaskets and the gearbox actually are gonna show up on the same day. So, I made another bad, good decision. Good, bad decision. I made another decision. <laughs> the only problem is I can't get it to idle because I don't know anything about carburetors. So now we got the moped and this thing, but we need to make it idle because I don't know how to do, I, like I, zero, I know zero things about carburetors. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna pull the carburetor off it, pull the fuel tank off it, drain the fuel out of it, clean the carburetor-ish. I don't even know what that means, but I see my dad once, he like took the carburetor apart and then any place that there was a hole, he just like kind of blew through it and then he put it back together and it worked. So we're gonna blow the carb and then uh, 
I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to, to, to say. I need like an assistant who's like 45 years old who knows who like grew up with the carburetors. Yeah. I do know how to use impact tools though. Come in, you little spots for our bolts. Dang, look at this wizardry thing. That's like even more complicated than fuel injection. Man, I am just so handy. Dang, the elusive carburetor. I don't even know how it works. I know this is the choke side. That's the throttle side. And then I don't know with this fuel, is that open or closed? There's actually no adjustments on the thing other than that one right there. That's it. That's all we can adjust. So literally all I did was take the air compressor below this middle hole right here and the one off to the side right here. And uh, I'm going to put it back together and put it on and see if it works. Now we don't exactly have any fresh pump gas here and I don't want to go to the store to get some, but we do have a fresh can of C16. So I guess we're running on C16 today. Should at least smell cool, I guess. Look at that nice blue race fuel in there. See if it starts. I guess the spark plug is probably needed. Okay, let's see what happens. Um, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen, to be honest. I did that last time too, it would like... As soon as I turn the choke off, it dies. Couldn't get it to run. Gonna pull the car off again and uh, take that bowl part on, on the bottom and then the thing in the middle, I'm gonna try and unscrew that thing in the middle. Whatever that is. Ooh, there's a thing inside here. I didn't even know. I wanna come out though. Oh, there it is. There's air going through it. There's no more holes to blow, so that's it. If it doesn't work this time, it doesn't work. Man, I bet you Dan at DD Speed Shops was laughing his sweet little ass up, being like, ha <laughs> you can't even figure out a carburetor that doesn't even have any adjustments on it. Yeah, well, it's probably like a disease, you know, it's like not a lot of carb knowledgeitis or something like that. I don't know. I'm diseased, man. I did a thing, Dan! This dang old hot rod right here, man. Place to store all your cold beverage needs to be cleaned out. Cold beverages. Dang old 49 cc four-stroke engine. If you don't know what that means, that means it's like one-third moose power, and then four strokes just means you only get four strokes and then it, it's done. That blue C16 fuel in it. Running board, straight up aircraft grade aluminum right there. So you know you got the weight savings plus high quality. Tires, okay, tire tires are a little cheaper. Princess Auto tires, but you know, they got the good tubes in them. Got the wheelie bars there. When you put the hot tune up in it, it gets spicy. You need the wheelie bars. You don't want to flip backwards, ruin your arse for when your boy, I mean your girlfriend, I mean, for when you do squats. This war horse, usually first pull, gets her going. Freaking wheelie machine, pop wheelies. Woo! Falling off. Now you can't be satisfied with just a regular action shot, so let's get a pipe on here, extend this out, get a GoPro on it, and get some real action shots. Gina, a hood rat fan. I couldn't find my overalls. Dang. So I'm wearing a onesie instead. Same, same, but different, right? Same, same, but different. You want to take it for a rip or what? Punch it in the face. One third moose power. That's how many moose powers it has. One third.
idea. We should probably go to the store. Okay. Oh yeah. store. They didn't have no Trulies, it's bullshit. What? What'd they have? Strongbow. It's good enough. Okay, I need to get some gas. Yeah, turn her around. No reverse button. Twenty bucks would be enough, right? I'd say three dollars would be enough. We'll, we'll go forty. Oh. Dollar twenty-four. Park there, you're gonna get a ticket. No one can steal it now. Let's make like a baby and head out. That's my saying! Word. I call this one the one handed wheelie or maybe crash a Rooney's. Oh, buddy! I'm, a, I'm barely holding it. I'm barely. I'm gonna crash. <laughs> you smell that? That's moose power! Oh lot, I anticipated this. This is why you don't buy no dang on electric vehicles, because now we're stuck on the side of the road with no charger, no electricity, and I I anticipated this was gonna happen. So you know what I did? I you know what I did done do? You know what I did done to do to, I brought the ratchet strap. Can it work? This uh this might have been avoided if I would have charged it fully. It might not have been avoided if I charged it fully. Who knows? Electric vehicle, so unreliable. So I'm gonna hook th this end up to here, and uh, that end up to there, and uh, I'm gonna I'm give you a tow. Okay. Now let's see if one third moose power, equivalent to about, I don't know, 79 horses, is gonna pull this thing. Ricky, give her a rip. control the moose power, the moose power controls you. I'm a... He fucked it up. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, you can feel the whole bottom side is rubbed off because I uh, I was doing wheelies on it. Yeah. Uh, it's stuck in there now, legitimately. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made it home though, that's cool. We didn't make it home, we went to a store and now we made it Just proving once again that moose powers by gasolines is better than electrics. How about that? Peace easy and get that V. Streaming tonight, twitch.tv slash alien trash kitty.